Thank you so much for seeing with us. And uh, I'm, I'm doing everything. I'm going to be a presenter, your host, your DJ, your everything today. And I'm going to be a special glue. Not that, you know, I've been trying to do just a little bit of everything. You know what they say, a jack of all trades. That's me. Mm -hmm. Now you're watching Rock to a Live right here on Y to the TV. My name is Philine at Philine Zoom on all socials. And of course, you can also catch us at Y254 channel. That's on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm going to be sending some love your way in a few. But I had promised you earlier on when we started the show that we have a guest joining us in studio. And guess what? We thought instead of having just one, how about having two guests in studio? Because two is better than one, right? Yes. Now, I don't know if you, okay, yeah, they've both been on the show before but at different times they've never been on the show together this is the first time they're they're here together and they're incredibly talented everybody in the scene absolutely know who they are they show up for all the gigs they are very supportive of the scenes and they are both in different bands ladies and gentlemen let's meet Nikesa and they know I like how the name is like <laughs> like, yes. Let's go, let's go. How are you guys doing? Good. You know, it's yeah, been a minute. Okay, okay. me and you see each other all the time, but on the show, it's been a while. It's been a long time. It's been a long yeah. time. Yeah. COVID happened, and uh, now we're living in a... Po okay, we're not, like, out of it yet. After Jambi, we come Elisha. Like, so we can't assume, like, Elisha. Yeah, but at least things are slowly opening up. So how is life? How can you compare life before, during, and now COVID is, you know, almost out, I hope. How do you compare life before during and after uh before i guess everything seemed okay <laughs> thinking about my before mm -hmm. before covid it's very different right everything is very different now mm -hmm. i just sleep at 10 just, <laughs> just like that i know that is <laughs> so true that's actually so 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 yeah, true yeah like it's automatic mm. now right during covid everything was slow Actually, yeah, very slow. slowed down. So, can you imagine during those coffee times? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Like, Saizi, it's actually five, five, and you'll be like, oh my god, Don't are we go? gonna finish soon right. so that we can get going? <laughs> like, you know, coffee's at seven. Like, you know, but you are always in a rush, like, yeah, to just yeah. go somewhere. Yeah. yeah. But right now, I guess we're all just picking up where we left off. Right. So. You guys are busy. Mm -hmm. you guys are going through some things. You know. Because people went through some things, so they're picking up. They're the recovering. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we are recovering from what we went yeah. through. Yeah. Daniels, how you doing? What's up? How about you? Was the last time you were here? You came solo. And you you were here. You talked about something totally different. You are a producer uh -huh. as well. Most yeah. <laughs> He's like, am I? Am I a producer? <laughs> but you've since joined the Straight Line Connection right now, and you're you are also a bassist. You actually do a lot. Like they all do a lot. So how's life for you be now that you know things are slowly opening up? Yeah, I mean, I mean life has changed since um, COVID started. Uh, oh, you can just you, you can share the mic if that's okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Life has changed since COVID started. Um, there's been a lot of uh, hardships. Hardships. Um, uh, I would say, I mean, COVID has been tough and it has been good. Um, good? I mean, for... Oh, yeah, in terms of reconnecting. In terms of uh, knowing where you stand. Like, you, you know that uh, the hustle that you're doing right now, if it ends, you need to figure out a plan. That was an eye opener. Yeah. For so many people. Yeah. Especially people who, who artists. Let me just say especially yeah. artists who literally rely on art for everything. You know. That was that was crazy. But then Nikesa, you're also in school. And you are also an artist and you're in Nairobi almost every day now. Shulia by then you're elder, right? How are you even finding a balance to do this? You know, like where are you? Like I'm in Nairobi, I'm like, oh oops. Thank God. Like, how, how is that? How can you be able to manage doing that? Because you turn up to all the events. I couldn't even do Shay Hata, by the way. We're not going to events. But at the same time, she's a student. So I'm like, no, how? Uh, yeah, first of all, I have a, an incredible group of friends mm -hmm. and family. So, so yeah, they make it easy for me right. to... Um, 
to do my thing, you know. Mm. So and it's for the love, right. definitely. So when I come from school to come here to record music mm. or to to like support my fellow artists and friends, yeah. uh, it's definitely for the love. Right. It's, not, it's not like it's not uh, something you want to do. Yeah, it's something I want to do. To yeah, I make do time that. to do. Yeah, I really ask them of yeah. you. I know, like well, like I said before, you've been here at uh, different uh, times. You came solo. He came also solo. Now he's yeah. in another band. But you guys performed at. Um, you performed at an event together, the one I was hosting. Uh, that was um, the Halloween gig, Black on Black. <laughs> black on Black. <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> Halloween. Actually, um, no, it was not was Halloween. It? it was a uh, electric, electric harmony. Yeah, yeah, electric harmony. That was the first edition. It was in October, right? Yeah, that was yeah. September. September. Yeah, it September. was, it was before Halloween. Just a month before yeah. Halloween. Oh, okay. It was September. Yeah, and then you guys came together, and that was the first time you performed together. Yeah. Yeah, so before then, had you guys been practicing? Before you went on stage and you blew people's minds, like you had an incredible session. I didn't even know that like, you guys could do that together. So how did you know that you, you, you could play together like that? I mean, we, ju we were just hanging out and, you know, just uh, messing around, p playing stuff. And, um, you know, we were just, at that time when, you know, COVID was really hitting everyone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah. mid bands were not active mm -hmm. we've been active we've been doing some online um shows right so i mean we were kind of active so that's how we got the gig and that's how we decided okay we can do something mm -hmm. so since then we decided to call ourselves can we sleep and, right. uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah actually that's what i was gonna ask you have you decided on the band name yet yeah that's okay, yeah, yeah, this is, I, I think this is exclusive. I don't know if, I don't yeah. think people know that. What is the yeah. name of the band once again? Um, Can We Sleep? I mean, it's just a very weird name. And it, ah. it, it just happened and um, she started playing the drums. Oh, yeah. And then I started, I mean, I, I play guitar sometimes when I feel like it. And then we did this competition from Mama Rocks yeah. uh, last week. And we won. Oh, and, yay! Uh, we got a we got a studio deal for two songs that we're going to record our two um, songs next week for our first album Amazing. for our first album and then it's a free it's a free it's a free thing I mean and it's, it's incredible. Can you imagine like what are you telling people on the show like people don't believe me? Like rockers are real artists. Yeah. I could never come out t-shirts. So when you go to a competition, you need to have a talent in a rocker. You can't actually be flying in a rocker. Just drop out. There's no need for embarrassment. Yeah. You're going to embarrass yourself. I promise. <laughs> she's a crazy vocalist. Like, she can sing so, so, so well. She's one of, like, in Kenya, she, like, she's top, top 10. She makes my top 10. In Kenya, can you imagine? Like, the whole of Kenya, she's, like, top 10. She's really incredibly talented. And... She's also not a drama. Like, can you imagine? Like, you're in a band where you can play drums, you can sing. He sings too, and he plays guitar. He, like, they do just a little bit of everything. Yeah. So now we have a competition. Like, what are you trying? We <laughs> 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 won. Yeah, we won, and yeah. it was. It, and we love to see that. It was crazy because uh, it was just a weird. Um, you know, Mama Rocks just wanted a rendition of the R&B song. Yeah. So we converted it, it into a rock song, mm -hmm. a rock rendition, and then. It worked. And yeah, so that's how we got the studio time. And we're planning to do that next week on Tuesday and then release the songs in the uh, coming week and uh, see how it goes. Bro, like, we're looking forward to that. Yeah. I can't wait for that song to drop. Yeah. But before then, just take us a little bit back. Can we sleep? What? How? <laughs> Nikesa, tell us about that name. Like, I promise. Like, it, it, I know, like, everybody, like, I don't know, after a long day at work, you're like, yo, bro, can you? Then you, you've been fighting so hard. <laughs> what happened? Uh, yeah, that's exactly it. Every time we practice and... You, we all get a little worn out, but yeah. he gets a little yeah. excited with the guitar. So yeah. I used to complain all the time. Can we go sleep? I'm tired. Yeah, <laughs> yeah every, every time we meet in practice, yeah. So that's where he actually coined it. Because ah. I used to complain too much. Can we see? Yeah. And there we have it. We have a band and they have a studio station and they're going to be recording new music for us, which we are actually waiting for. And we're going to play it on the show as soon as it drops. Yeah. But also, you were here with Dead Skin Remedy. How is that going? 
uh we were a band yeah. but we kind of went on hiatus because um everyone wanted different things right so uh there was angie from uh, okay mm-hmm. angie was just a solo artist mm-hmm. and then two guys from dead skin remedy mm-hmm. so uh we did a lot of lives together right. but um yeah we'll 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 reconnect and do more yeah. yeah. But rock has always make it work. So yeah, yeah, we person do. in there in 20 different bands. Mm-hmm. They know how I see. Now, he's part of Can We Sleep. He's part of Straight Line Connection. And I need you to tell me something, Dengis. Um, the last time we hung out together, uh, Gan told me from Straight Line, like, you guys have an album on the way. So how is that coming? Oh, yeah. So um, we're planning to, this time we're planning to go global uh, rather than um, locally. Um, because uh, um, locally, I mean, metal and rock hasn't been that much appreciated. Mm-hmm. And uh, last time we did the African uh, Metal Festival, I think, uh, sometime last year, around June. Yeah. And we were above, uh, we were the top 10 bands in Africa. Whoa! So we decided that this time when we, we, we were uh, planning to record, uh, release an album. Um, and we planned Right. Uh, we plan to, uh, we, we're working with the uh, big producers in Africa just to let it go beyond Kenya. I know, that is so amazing. Just beyond the borders, you know, um, see whatever happens, whatever happens. And I'm really excited because I've only been in, in the band like for, for a, a short for time. A yeah. yeah, for a year. And it's really, it's really I know, right? Yeah. And you guys are loved. Like so many people. Like, like uh, shout out to Power Slide. The last time they were here, Ojiro was like, you guys were performing at Melanin, yeah. and then he was like, yo, bro, I'm gonna go check them out. Like Straylin, uh, my favorite Kenyan band, and I'm like, yo, okay, I love, we love to see that. Do you have any favorites? Like, who are some of your influences in the scene right now? Um, in the scene, um, mm-hmm. I mean. The old school guys like uh, AYT. Yeah, of course. I, mean, I know. Yeah. Everybody has to talk about AYT. Yeah. Always, always. I mean. PLG, yeah. obviously. PLG. Yeah. Um, and this guy's. I mean, Koinanga Street Avengers. I'm not really. Um, like a, I'm not really metal. I'm not really metalhead. I'm more mm-hmm. of a you know, soft rock kind of guy. Yeah. I mean, that's just me. So, I'm more of the, those, those guys can. Um, um, Ah, oh, shit, I forgot their names. Rish. Uh, Rish. I mm-hmm. mean, Rish. Yeah. yeah. And, um, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean it's, been a while. Yeah. it's, been a it's okay. It's okay. It's been a while. COVID yeah, happened. Yeah. A lot happened. Anyway, Nikesa, maybe some of yours as we wind up because of time, actually. I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, apart from the, this, the oldies, I mean, I love all, all rock mm-hmm. musicians from Kenya, but. Duma, they really ah, inspire me because they went bro. out and did something. We're literally talking about them done. in the next yeah, segment. They yeah. have something big coming. Exactly. Yes, exactly. we need to talk about that. Yeah. Slammy, Martin, they're doing amazing they, things right ca- now. Martin, can't, they're doing amazing. Yeah, yeah. And when they're in Kenya, they make time. They come for gigs. I'm not even playing. Like, they'll come to, uh, to gigs and hang out with guys yeah, and just, yeah. like, catch up. Yeah, exactly. So that's really amazing. They're, exactly. they're not, okay, even though they're playing international now, they were literally on tour, cut short because of COVID, and they're going back. We're talking yeah. about that. We talked about them last week. They have a, a tour they're doing, and now they have another tour we, ha- we are just about to talk about right now. So that's where we're headed, right? Ah, are yeah. we... W- okay, the, the bind. Can we sleep? Yeah. Can we sleep? Can we sleep? That's where we're headed. Yeah. For these <laughs> Fuma nominations, for our Fuma yeah. Awards, yeah. all those international exactly. uh, tours. That's where we're going. Exactly. And I'm so proud of you guys. Please don't break up. You know, like, people come <laughs> here and then they, they, and then they you, you ask, like, what happened? And they're like, oh, we just wanted different things. Now the bind is non-existent. Oh, so please don't do that. Soon. Yes, don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. So let's, like, let, let's just keep it. Like, we're headed for, we already won Mama Rocks. That's the first right. one of many yeah, to come. Yeah, and thank you so much for making time to come through. This yeah, is, like, it's it's always a great time. And yeah. as soon as that album drops, you're coming here definitely, to talk about it, right? Definitely. Yeah, and we can have an event and we play you said that okay exactly i will just be there to hype you i'm not playing i can play <laughs> anything but i can talk for days like i can talk like talking we're good but when it comes to you know <laughs> yeah. i can't i don't, actually don't know how to play any instrument it's so crazy like uh, 
Anyway, his class, you should be embarrassed of yourself. He's a music teacher. Not he hasn't taught me. I've known him for five years. <laughs> five years. He's never taught. He hasn't taught me nothing. But anyway, anyway, thank you so much for staying with us. We have Rock Post just right about now. And Rock Post is literally just um, a trending topic. So we talk about uh, what's happening in the scene. And and we're gonna start with Duma. Vile Nekesa um, I mentioned to Apasa. So we have to talk about Duma. They are Kenyan bind. They are Kenyan uh, a Kenyan bind, but the, right now I think they're based in Uganda, right? Yeah, I mean, I th um, the, 